Good morning, people. Watch them at 65. Lisa Boyce. Happy Catter Day. Let me give you a verse of scripture. It's actually out of Jude. Now, if you read the first um, verse of Jude, Jude is actually talking to Christians, to, the, to us. So, and the first part of this says, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, this is how I know this, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. We're called. We're born again believers in Christ. Now this is, this is what he says at the end of his uh, book. It says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory by with exceeding joy to the only wise God and Savior, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. I like Jude. Always have. And of course, the uh, next chapter after that is Revelation. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. This is how you're saved. This is why we're saved and how we're kept saved. It's only through his blood. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the blood is something that no demon can cross. The blood of Jesus is something no demon can cross. No witchcraft. No none of that. You're protected by the blood of Jesus. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to literally happen at any time. And you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you. That's what he does. Got a few articles, including about North Korea. Now, yeah, North Korea, don't forget, they have successfully put a military spy satellite into orbit last month. It was a success. It's there. So now, today, Washington reiterated its warning to North Korea that any nuclear attack on the United States would result in the end of his regime. Again, why are they giving him this warning? if they're not nervous. The U.S. is nervous. That spy satellite, like I said, <laughs> yeah, that's not good. A joint statement by the, North, the U.S. South Korean uh, nuclear consultative group also reaffirmed that any nuclear attack by North Korea on South Korea will be met with swift, overwhelming, and decisive response. Ah, but there is a problem there. Because if North Korea strikes South Korea, that means that the U.S. would have to get involved. And that means that Russia and China would have to get involved. Who is also, let me remind you, on the side of North Korea. This is a mess. The United States reaffirmed its unwavering commitment to provide extended deterrence to the Republic of Korea, backed by the full range of U.S. capabilities, including nuclear, said the statement published by the White House. 
Sleepy Joe had issued a similar strongly worded warning in April, saying that any nuclear attack by North Korea would result in the end of the regime. Again, why are they bringing this up now? They must know something is about to go down. That's the only reason. Five months earlier, Defense Secretary Austin <laughs> warned that any nuclear attack by the North against the U.S. or its allies would mean the end of the Kim regime. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Really? I don't think North Korea is afraid of the U.S. North Korea last year declared itself an irreversible nuclear power and had repeatedly said it will never give up its nuclear program, which the regime views as essential for its survival. And last month, like I had just said at the beginning, Pyongyang successfully put a military spy satellite into orbit. It has since claimed its eye in the sky was already providing images of major U.S. and South Korean military sites. So while the world is focused on Israel, other entities have a way and time of getting their nuclear arsenal intact, shall we say. Now, in the meantime, while all of this is happening, <laughs> well, this came out also. U.S. allies scrambled jets to intercept China and Russia's nuclear bombers. My ring is going off, so. So it says American Defense Treaties Treaty allies South Korea and Japan scramble fighter jets Thursday in response to long-range air patrols by Chinese and Russian strategic bombers, their military said. The warplane formations merged in the Sea of Japan on what both Koreas called the East Sea before carrying out the joint exercises in South Korea. Folks, um, again, these are not exercises. They're not. <clears throat> so the joint patrols featuring strategic assets from the Russian Air Force and the Chinese People's Liberation Army. Air Force, um, were the seventh of their kind. And again, this is not an exercise. So, so images released by the Joint Chief of Japan's Defense Ministry captured what Tokyo said <clears throat> were a pair of Russian Tu-95 and a pair of Chinese H-6 nuclear-capable bombers, which flew from the Sea of Japan into the East Sea via the Tsunami Strait, or known as Eastern Channel of Seoul. So the, the long-range missile performed Soviet-based or uh, Soviet-built or based on Soviet design were accompanying by a maritime reconnaissance aircraft, which from each country... Russia's TU-142 and China's Y-8, according to Tokyo. So they have images here. So, again, this is basically saying that something is going on. Now, don't forget, like I said, North Korea, <clears throat> China, and Russia are all in cahoots basically, together. And it says, in Ukraine, Chinese-made components are finding their way into Russian hardware, including 
killer drones with Russian sanctioned manufacturers turning to their neighbors for alternative sources for Western equipment. Beijing has not directly transferred any military hardware to Moscow for use on the battlefield, but it has been the Kremlin's main economic lifeline. Why is all this going on now? For the tribulation, all of this, they're gearing for war. Israel's already in a battle right now. The U.S. is not long for this earth. I've said that before, and I will say it again. I'm going to link this in the description box. I have an errand to run before it gets too late, and I will be back later. Thank you.